Welcome back, John. It's been well, a long time. It's been a busy year for you. Yeah, it's been an awesome year, and it's good to be back. It's but this is a, a landmark year for you, your 20th, uh, 20th anniversary year. FX is 20 years old. Uh, you guys saw it, IWA, all the items that were released. Uh, 20 I mean, new let items. Let alone the year has just been incredible. It's gone by so quickly, but I mean, from the guns we've released, uh, all the changes to the Mark II Impact, the the new Crown, updated Crown, the Dreamline being fully, I mean, technically it came out in December of last year, December 29th. Sure did. Uh, but yeah, the Dreamline fully realized and um, competitions, uh, by the way, congratulations. You uh, getting yeah. the Speed Silhouette, third place. Very nice. What are you going to win your money on? So, <laughs> I'll, let me tell you this. The Pro Open Speed Silhouette yeah. is the only event at EBR yeah. That has no prizes for second and third. Oh. Can you believe that? All right, I'm going to get you a prize because that's, you uh, deserve a prize. I deserve a prize. Absolutely. I mean, I got a medal. I'm, I'm By the end of this video, I will figure out what that prize is. Okay. And no, it's not this. <laughs> I thought you were leading up to that, <laughs> nope. John. No? <laughs> but, um, you know, we're talking about IWA, 20 new items. Most of those have been released. There's just one or two that are still coming. Still have a couple of months. But I can tell you the one that was most asked about. Uh, was this gun. Oh yeah, this is the one I saw and I thought, okay, that is the one yeah. I want. I, I just, it's got that something special, compact, and I know it's little things that make us guys geek out, but this action, right? Just yeah. the fact that, uh, look how nice and compact that is. Uh, I know we throw around the term backpack guns a lot, but that is truly a backpack it, it, gun. It will fit in there, yeah. And the best part is, the weight's over, the Dreamline compacts are in. So, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, it looks so different from anything out there, but, uh, you know, when we look at the heart of it, it is a Dreamline, right? You've got the Dreamline yeah. action. Yeah, at the heart, a Dreamline. Th this action is the same as the Dream Classic, Dream Pop, Dream Light. Uh, all those guns, this is the same action. The difference, obviously, the short barrel, uh, shorter cylinder, and, and then with that adjusting stock, you have this new guy, um, the folding stock adapter so that you can get that's this. that's so nice. It locks rock <laughs> solid to the side, right? That is, I mean, feel that. Yeah. It, it's incredible. Now you can shoot it like this. I you can. I just want to point out. Yeah. It's, it's a good 10 meter, <laughs> you know, pistol. It actually is just super compact. This holds rock solid. For me, I would put a red dot on top. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah. You know, nice little hawk red dot or, you know, other red dot and just uh, have it super compact, lightweight. Yeah, this gun, now this isn't a gun that you're going to take out. You're not going to be shooting slugs from it. This is really, this is a pellet gun. This is about, this is your pesting gun, which, you know, you think about what you use your air guns more often than not. Uh, I mean, pesting is way up there. You know, your, your small birds, your, uh, my neck of the woods, the squirrels, rats, different things like that. Um, this is going to be an awesome gun for that. Um, in 22 caliber, it's really fine-tuned to the 16 grain, well, 15.89 JSBs. Um, stock, it's shooting them 850 feet per second. Uh, and the cool thing is you're still getting a high shot count. 35 shots per fill, which mm -hmm. is basically two mags. Uh, you have this high capacity magazines. These are the side shot magazines. And that, in 22 caliber, that's 18 rounds. Uh, 25 caliber, 16. Um, I'm trying to remember 177 because I never shoot it. I think it's 21 rounds. I mean, that's a lot of rounds of magazines. Uh, same magazine as the Crown. Yeah, right? same as the Dreamline, Crown. Crown. All interchangeable, but you're getting two 18 round magazines and 22. That's what this one is, is a 22. 25s are coming out a week later. I haven't got it yet, I haven't tested it, so I can't tell you shots per fill, but that's incredible. And, and you're shooting pellets out of these. This is not a slug gun, it's a 380 uh, millimeter barrel. So shooting pellets, it's built around, this is the 22 caliber, built around the 15.89 JSBs. Shoot some lights out. Um, out to about 50, 75 yards, because they're moving a little slower. It's about 850 feet per second, because you got a short runway. Which is still a great range for those. But when you're pesting, because that's this is a pesting gun, right? That is awesome. And the fact that I can just go out in the field, have that ready, a lot of shots per fill. Um, that's sweet. Now, <laughs> I do want to point out that you buy the, the AR buttstock separately. Yeah, so on the Dream Tac, uh, so there's the Dream Light Compact. And then uh, the Dream Tac Compact is a little bit more expensive, and it doesn't come with the AR buttstock, so you have to get your own. 
And the reason you did that is because everybody wants a different thing in it. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. everybody's got their preferred there style. There is hundreds you know. of buttstock, so you just get your own mil spec. You, you want the buffer tube as well, so a lot of times they'll sell these separately or as a combo. And it does come with a folding adapter stock. And then you just take your buffer tube, screw it in. You know, if you've got an armor's wrench, you can you know, tighten that up. Yeah, you, you, you actually, I left the castle nut on there, but if you get one without a castle nut, there's a little set screw over here because everything in FX okay. is designed really smart and you just kind of tighten okay. that up. It won't wiggle on you. It's really, oh, great. really well designed. It feels good. When I, I spent all day with this yesterday shooting and it felt a lot like when I'm shooting my impact, you know? I mean, there's similar, Styling is a little bit, that throw lever, a little bit longer pull on the throw lever, but it's super smooth, so you can really go quick on it. And this uh, is compatible with all AR uh, grips? Yeah, so this is a standard Hogue, but if you want a little larger one, or I know there's a couple of companies out there. You got, uh, the bipod doesn't come stock with it either, but um, you got your mount there. It's a beautiful gun. Uh, and then with the cylinder, this does have a stop check valve, so you can buy extra cylinders as well. They're actually fairly cheap. I think the, don't quote me on this, but the CCs on that, I think it's like 150, 160 CCs. And like I said, uh, in 2.2, that's 35 shots per fill. I'm, Which is pretty darn decent for a gun this I'm compact. guessing the 25, it'll probably be around 24, 25 shots. Yeah. So depending now on when, when you say stop check valve, that means you can unscrew this with air in it, carry a filled tank in your backpack with you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, pop it in. You don't have to carry a big bottle or anything like that. And you'll get a lot of shots. For Absolutely. It. Yeah, you can fill up multiple ones. Yep. So, Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Dreamline uh, line of guns, uh, let's go through the basic action here. So, starting on this side, uh, you know, you've got your manual safety, you have your regulator gauge, you have your fill gauge here. If you remove the bipod, you'll see the amp regulator adjustment under yeah, there. Externally adjustable. Externally adjustable, yeah. really convenient. Uh, you've got your foster fill port, which is what every gun on the planet should come <laughs> with, right? Yes. When possible. When possible, I agree. And uh, here you have your transfer port adjustment. You know, those are for big changes, mm -hmm. you know, caliber changes, so forth. You can also, um, you know, really... Yeah, if you want to shoot indoors, you, you can shoot quickly it, drop it. Turn it, it down and yeah. you'll, you'll drop it down through 400 feet per second. Um, oh, yeah. And then the hammer spring adjustment here. Now this is for fine tuning. The, the, like you say, this gun comes tuned pretty much perfectly for the 16 grains, but doesn't mean you can't shoot anything else in it. Yeah, if you're shooting different ammo, if you want to do the 18 grains, you might want to play with that, changing calibers. Or, I mean, the reality is you might already have a dream line and you want to get this gun, right? Because these, these adjustments are there sometimes when you're doing drastic things, because you can change barrels on this, you can change cylinders, you can do calibers, 177, 22, 25. Um, the compact only goes up to 25 because 380, millimeter 30 just ain't, you know, not happening. But let's say you already have a dream line. You can, we, we have the parts coming out. I think you guys have them up on your site now that you can convert from like, let's say you already have a dream light. That's a very popular selling model. Um, great, you only need a few things. <laughs> so that's what, that's what makes the dream line the dream line is the ability to just plug and play, switch things out, and you get a basically yeah. a new gun. You just have a few parts. So. Look, I got, I got my Legos. <laughs> yeah, these, um, this is basically, if I have a dream light, these are just some of the things, like, so for instance, that's that folding stock adapter. Uh, maybe you already have a full-length dream tack. I want this, because I want the folding stock. So, so do I. Um, so I need to pick that up. Uh, this is if, if I have a dream light, now I can convert to the dream tack. You know, it's the, it's the adapter there. This is the bottle adapter, so if you have a cylinder gun, you just need to pick up that part. Um, so you know, you just go on the website. They have the different kits, and it's always it's broken down. So depending on what gun you're picking from, you say, I need one of these plus one of these plus one of these, and I can convert it to to this. Yeah. So, if you bring up FX accessories on our website, you'll see all of these. <laughs> Strap in. Yeah. <laughs> but enough talking. I want to see you shooting this, and I want to get some shots on paper because you're going to be blown away. So let's do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Now we've got a target set down, we've got four targets mm -hmm. set down at 35 yards and we're going to shoot four different pellets. Yeah. We've got the 15.8.9s, which as you point out are the ones the gun's tuned for. Yep. We have the Hades, which are a 15.8.9 pellet yeah. in the shape of an 18 grain heavy. So they're incredibly accurate and... I haven't tested those yet, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean they tend to be really accurate and for they are lethal. Awesome. Yep. So then we're going to shoot the heavies. 
and the old standby, and yep. we're gonna try the gym, the Jumbo RS and see hmm. what they do. They should fly that'll be interesting. There. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So yeah, they should be, I'm guessing 850 feet per second on that. I would guess the same on these, probably about 820 on the 18s because we haven't tuned it, and man, I, I don't know, on these 13 grand, yeah, nine, might be, nine plus maybe. we'll yeah. see. Um, but we forgot to mention it, but you can put a moderator on the end of the compact. Half inch UNF, I removed the, uh, the thread protector, and we just put on the little, you know, the FX factory moderator, a little stackable mod, or you can do any of your favorite moderator brands uh, to get it nice and quiet. It's, it's fairly quiet, um, but this makes it really nice. Uh, and then if you take a look on the end there, Travis, that's new. I mean, that's the chronograph. We all love the chronograph, but that bracket is brand new. Actually, the guys who developed that were uh, the air hunters from South okay. Africa. Um, Rolf and Harold, I think Rolf did all that. He does crazy CAD stuff, and it works awesome. So perfectly that it's now included with the chronograph. But the idea, I can strap it to my barrel. Now I, it's just really aiding with the accuracy. Because before, if I'm shooting it and I move just a little bit, it's going to affect the accuracy. Now I just, you can see I'm using a very high-tech yellow rubber band. That's the official FX rubber band. <laughs> um, it works great. A little bit of POI shift on it. Um, not so much on the compacts, but um, it's a great way to just make the chronograph that much better. Plus we have all the new updates. You have shot strings, exportable, saveable. Yeah, but yeah, let's, let's see what we got. You're doing 10 shot groups, right? Yeah, 15, eight, nines to begin with here. Yeah, it looks like this feeds right where we thought. You know you're not in a speed silhouette competition, right? Yeah, but <laughs> I like to shoot fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many was that? <laughs> supposed to help you. You're supposed to be helping, not distracting Seven? me here. I think it was six. That was seven. Okay. Three more. Now, are you moving the table on purpose? Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Corner Man. And that's ten. That looks like a good group. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to shoot 10 of the JSB Hades. Let's see how they do. I'm excited about these. Ten? I think that's ten. Well, it's a lot better when you adjust the. Wow! Just the yeah, that was um, that was interesting. From yeah, ten shots. That actually shot him faster. That yeah. was average speed of eight sixty three with a four point nine hmm. standard deviation. What was the spread? Um, twelve. Mm -hmm. Ten little, feet per second, a little bit faster. That's cool. Then yeah. shot better than I thought. How was the group? Good. It was a little lower, actually. Huh. Okay, but a, a good group. Someone with more knowledge will tell us why in the comments. You can count on that. Yes. <laughs> now we are loaded up with 10 of the uh, GSB 18.13 heavies. Yeah. I'm excited to see what they'll do. Yeah, and it's not tuned for it necessarily, but let's see what it does. Uh, I mean, it'll, you know. It'll, I guess the speed is 820. Uh, it's still in the range, right? Yeah, I think you, you, could, you, could, you could get them faster if you want, but let's just see stock what we're doing here.
10? It's 10. Nice. How's the group? Uh, it looked really good. Let's see. And yeah, that was shooting much slower. So we have average of 812. So yeah, I, I would tune it. I, I would mess yeah. with the regulator a little bit, but group's great. That's awesome. Now we'll do 10 of the JSB RS. It's a 13.43 grain pellet. Yeah, you know what RS stands for, right, Travis? Uh, rapid speed. No, really small. Ah, they're very tiny. So they <laughs> rattle around in here like yeah. a maraca. <laughs> and I did fill up air. I think uh, that last shot on your previous might have been falling off the reg, so we, we got you some fresh air. Okay, good. Compared to stale air. And that's 10. How did it group though? Uh, Why is it that good? Uh, pretty well. But not as good, right? Not, not as well, yeah. It's always what I find on RSs. I just, yeah. Right. Yeah, I know you've been finding that in all, all of our shooters and it, the Hades is a sweet little hunting pellet. I mean, it's, yeah, if you're, if you're gonna hunt, man, use the Hades, they'll be great. Yeah, so. the expansion on these is ridiculous. I mean, yeah. they just, and, and I know the nice. 25 cal are coming out as well, which you'll have to try in a 25 compact, so. Nice, yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Okay, John, you were right. This thing is just a pleasure <sighs> to shoot. So awesome. You know, and, and until you've shot a Dreamline, you don't realize how smooth and soft and, and easy that action is. That it, it spoils you. And, and it, you it get is. used to it, you kind of do that throw action where I, don't, I just do the finger flip like on the impact. Yeah, you, no. guys, you guys saw how accurate it was benched, it shoulders yeah. so well. I doubt you're going to be benching it. It's, it's not a bench <laughs> But it's gun. to show the accuracy and then that idea is taken to the field. I mean, you're going to be shooting the gun offhand, of course, but that's why we make it so portable. Whether you have this version or we've been talking about the light as well, you know, the light, you just do the thumb screw and same thing, you, you can break yeah. it down in 10 seconds. So both great options, great, great options. The and shots per fill based on the size is incredible. Yeah. The accuracy is incredible. They tune this to 850 with those 16 grain for a reason because that's where it's, as Frederick always likes to say, that's where the gun's happy. You know, it's this balance, it's this harmony. That's why you get that crazy accuracy. There's not the turbulence behind from too much air. I mean, obviously you guys can go in and change it and do stuff and we know you will. Uh, but yeah, and tell us how it goes in the comments. Sure, yeah, absolutely. That's part of the fun. So, John, I appreciate you bringing this by. This is the most exciting thing I saw in your booth, and it lives up to everything I hope to be. In fact, it's even better. Well, guys, <laughs> we appreciate you watching. John, thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for, thanks for letting us see this and try it out here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.